My name is Nicholas Gentile and I'm the composer of Emily and Voltaire. What really drew me to the story is how Emily finds her voice. She's caught between two big patriarchs being Voltaire and Maupertuis, but through the opera she finds her voice, she finds her strength, uh, and she has all of the skill and talent to back it up. Emily du Châtelet's story is a woman's story that every woman should know. I'm Cheryl Sawyer, and I'm the librettist of Émilie and Voltaire. Well, I think this story is really relevant today because it's Émilie's story. It's a, you know, she's one of the unsung heroes of the Enlightenment. She was one of the heroines of our past. Everyone knows who Voltaire is, and they know what he's famous for, and they have no idea about who the, the main woman in his life was, who inspired all of his love stories. Hi, I'm Kalish. I'm the MIDI programmer and orchestral mock-up artist for Emily and Voltaire. My job on this production has been to take modern techniques often used in film and combine them with the techniques often used in classical opera. So what I've mainly used and worked with is what's called orchestral sampling. It's a technique that's really used in, in film music a lot and bringing that into the world of opera is something that is really my job here and it's what hasn't really been done before. In the world of film, we use orchestral sampling all the time. It's so that we can use the sounds of a real orchestra without having to actually record them. It's incredibly beneficial using these techniques because we don't need a $50,000 orchestra. We can do it from home. Hi, I'm Demi and I'm the producer for Emily and Voltaire. COVID-19 has had drastic effects on our industry, but I see it as an opportunity to utilise a visual medium like film, and our audiences have never been more ready for it. By creating a film, we can present this opera through new media avenues, such as streaming services like Netflix and Stan, which are proving to be an essential part in how audiences consume media. This is a wonderful option for people who either can't afford or aren't inclined to go to the theatre. It's keeping the art form alive through contemporary platforms. I'm from Western Sydney and in Western Sydney there are little to no opportunities to see live theatre, especially not traditional art forms like opera. Growing up as a young person in Western Sydney I wasn't afforded the chance to go and see opera. This is my way of giving back to younger audiences, giving them a chance to experience the art form. So to have been approached and to have been given such an integral role on a production is amazing. Chateau 